today we've got something slightly different we've got a DSG DQ 200 in for cloning well MO off I think I'm just going to double check the paperwork so we've used the pin out obviously no bench box set to 14.3 volts but be careful because them two bigger pins are actually bigger than the plugs any of the plugs on KT200 so I've got adapters set around for all sorts now but I've just made essentially just some crimp wires that's how I've done it for years um, that's how I've done it for years anyway and it's never failed me so I'll stick to it um, yeah we need to see if it will read and if it will read let's get on with the job why can I not get this monitor set up how I like it Um, so yeah, it will ID, I have just ID'd it, but we'll re-ID it, it will tell you to switch the dash on. Yeah, so turn the MSC cable on at this point, yep, and we get the details there, so... Oh, mouse, the full backup, as we normally do. Hmm. Oh, we'll read. We'll read the flash first and the A from. I haven't done one of these in a while, to be honest. I think. This is a. Oh. Wow. It didn't like that. Now I've got the adapter cable set for these, so I can do them, so I've just got a plug. And I've modified it for KT200 so it plugs straight in. But I thought I'd use the pinout option just to show people. Mm. It's an AliExpress cable set that I've then stripped apart um, and modified. So I've got all the plugs basically that I need in one setup with a separate on off switch. So I've, it's an MFC cable but for gearboxes, for DSG, so. Um, yeah, we'll turn dashboard off, yep. Push okay, then turn dashboard on, okay. Right. It should be a fairly quick read. And because it's a postal job and they haven't actually left me any details, I don't know what car it's out of. I'd have to actually check with the part number. But it's irrelevant for this job, so. They're replacing the gearbox in either a Volkswagen or an Audi or a Skoda or something. And Doesn't surprise me. So there we go, turn the dashboard off. And we'll do EEPROM next. Read file. Stop. EEPROM. Turn the dashboard off, yep. Push OK and turn it on, yep. On this 
Oh, yeah. There we are, we'll sort the file out and we'll come back to it. And we're back. Sorry. We'll reconnect and get ID. KT200 will probably have an issue for it like it normally does. Turn dashboard on, yep. Yeah. Right. this up flash do the flash so you know off on the flash open flash right Right, that will continue right in a second. It shouldn't be too long. Turn that board off and wait. Yep. Okay. I don't know what happened there. It camera stopped recording so it turned dashboard off and wait so we're now writing the EEPROM which is okay and then turn the dashboard on I'm sorry about that but I only selected the EEPROM file turn dashboard off and wait okay Try and do. We'll try and reconnect like we always do. Yeah, so 
be fine. That's fine, so thanks for watching. And like I say, it's a bit of a different one because it is a DSG and I don't, don't do many of them now. Mm. This is a DQ200 MQB. Like I say, it's in for a mow off. So, see, it's just sat there. Alright, we'll get this back in its box and post it to its customer. Thank you.